One of the strongest points of Omega against its rivals is its ability to push forward technologies leveraged by the Swatch Group's somewhat vertical production. And today, they are once again flexing their proverbial muscle in the hopes of making all future models more desirable against maybe a certain Emerald royalty brand. But were they able to push new heights, push boundaries with this new innovation in the latest update that Omega released? Let's find out. On January 3, Omega teased on their Instagram that there will be massive changes coming from a tiny device with the band spring being hinted at prominently on the reel. It's also followed up by the hashtag Speedmaster, which is self-explanatory which model collection this new technology will be introduced in. Many are speculating the obvious that this will be a new way of manufacturing a balance spring. But now we know what Omega meant with this teaser. It's the new Speedmaster Super Racing. The case will come in at a 44mm diameter with a 21mm lug width. The thickness will be 14.9mm with a 50m water resistance. This will be powered by a new chronograph caliber 9920 which has a date complication, has a time zone feature, and is meta certified. This will have the black and honey yellow color palette that is also a reference to that pivotal release 10 years ago. More on that later. This will have the racing motif solidly implied with the racing style mini track. Unique to this model is the honeycomb dial texture that's both interesting and motorsports inspired. Also new to this collection is the clear use of the super racing emblem that may be hinting at Omega identifying this as a subcategory of the two counter collection. At the date window, we can glance at a special 10 date that is a reference to what happened 10 years ago. This marks the 10-year anniversary of the Swatch Group announcement of the revolutionary introduction of a new Aquaterra. Before this event, common magnetic protection on a watch is achieved using an anti-magnetic cage around the movement. Because of this enclosure, many anti-magnetic watches such as the Milgauss lacks a date window to lessen the risk of magnetic leakage. Omega pushed innovation forward by making many of the parts of the caliber itself anti-magnetic. This improved the Gauss resistance to an unprecedented 15,000 units back in the day. That yellow Aquaterra is proudly represented in this new Speedmaster. The new Super Racing also prominently extends the Speedmaster racing family with its very familiar dial and bezel configuration. What's special on this one is that striped 9 o'clock counter hand and the gradient needle chronograph pointer opposed to the arrow hand of the previous models. Another big improvement is the use of the new tapering bracelet and refined case similar to the recently released chronoscope. But of course, the biggest improvement is what's featured inside. This new caliber will showcase a new super refined system called Spirit. Aside from sounding like Captain Jack Sparrow auditioning for a James Bond movie, this system will actually make it possible to fine-tune the caliber to be accurate up to 0 plus 2 seconds per day. This is a massive step up from what Metas requires which is 0 to plus 5 seconds per day and against Rolex superlative chronometer at plus minus 2 seconds per day. All of this new tech can also be enjoyed through the Sapphire display case band. This new system greatly improves the accuracy and performance of the Speedmaster and can be expected to be featured in other Omega collections. Speedmaster, as the name suggests, was meant to be a device for motor sports before it went up to space and became the Moonwatch. Omega could reposition this new super racing line once again as the frontrunner for racing chronographs. So what do you think? Is this really a game changer for the watch industry that Omega just released? Or is this some nifty feature or technology that we just want to have in our watches moving forward. How about Rolex? How would Rolex react? Comment down below and I'd love to feature and discuss many of your comments and ideas in the next show. Are they able to push innovation to new heights with this latest update? With this latest, with this latest update. Are we like a cooking channel? No. <laughs>